Looking for a special gift for that Age of Sigmar player? Well, today we're going to look at green skins on what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? And welcome back again to another episode of What's in the Box. And we're going to look at the Games Workshop Start Collecting Green Skins box, which is a personal favorite of mine since I'm playing a green skin army. Now let's go down to our table and open this thing up. So we have a very interesting box here. It shows all the the orcs that you're going to get in this. And it also says it has 18 miniatures. And I'm just going to flip the box over. Well, there's the side. You can see some of the guys close up. Get some painting ideas. And there's the back where it shows the orc war boss. Let's just tilt this to the camera. Ooh, big, big glare. There we go. So you got the Orc War Boss and the Boar, as well as the Flag Bearer. And Games Workshops gives you some of the paint colors. And then here we've got our Boar Boy Chariot and some of the Orc Boys. And then there at the bottom is our Orc Boar Boys. And again, they give you paint schemes and charts for when you come to paint this. And then here it tells you how many you're going to get. So this box contains two Orc War Bosses. 10 orc boys, 5 orc boy boys, and 1 orc boy chariot. And an exclusive war scroll in battalion. So, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to open this up. So, take out the old knife. Always be careful when you use your knives. And we will take off this annoying barrier of plastic to our hobby fun. <laughs> Or the shrink wrapping so that you know that no parts have been taken out of it. Okay. Now, Games Workshop boxes open with this tongue and flap here. So keep that in mind. And there's a tray in here. And they generally tend to put the tray so that the open part is under this pitcher. So be careful not to open it with the back or you'll drop all your parts on the floor. So here we go, and we are greeted by some beautiful gray plastic sprue. <laughs> All right, I'm going to rotate this off camera, and I will take the first sprue and show it to you. So here is the first sprue with our orcs, and I believe this is part of the Boar Boy sprue. And I'll just come up here. Now look at these. These are the orcs' body pieces, their torsos, and you can see the detail of the little different types of metal and leather that they have to protect themselves. And there's some of their weapons. And we just flip over here and turn this over and turn it around. And now you can see the orc faces, little skulls and things you can add to them. And some of the other weapons in their legs. And that's the first part of that. Then, of course, we have our new round bases. Now, the Orc Boy Boars, <laughs> Boar Boys, they go back a few years with Games Workshop. They used to be 7th, 8th edition, that sort of thing, and were mounted on square bases. Now, here we have our uh, Orc Boar Boys, one of the sprues, and you can see the nice detail of the fur in there. So, I mean, these are beautiful models even though they are older models, just reboxed for Age of Sigmar, they are still a work of art. And here we have more of the Orc boy, bo Boar Boys sprue. I'm going to have trouble saying that in this video. That's back side. There's the front side. And you can see the Orc bodies and uh, the different boar heads. And remember, there's a jaw that, that's on here as well. <laughs> I said, remember, you haven't seen this yet. <laughs> Here's the a second sprue for the, boar bo uh, for the regular orc boys. Again, uh, similar to the first. In fact, a direct duplicate. Then what do we have here? The, uh, this is the orc leader or the general on the boar, that's his boar. You can also build them 
on the ground because there's his legs there and they give you all these different options now this big spear that's on here they don't use it in Age of Sigmar anymore but it sure is a neat looking weapon and of course you've got the the shield with the squig stretched across it <laughs> that this is a very cool cool model and now one thing to note this arm here is for this banner but it is also for this axe head so you can use this arm to either make a standard bearer a battle standard bearer i should say or a um, two-handed heavy weapon orc okay so this is the command sprue for your boar boys i mean for your orc boys not the boar boys this one has the the standard as well as the drums for your uh, orc drummer it also has a few different body styles this one here is a crossed over metal leather studded belt they also give you the the icon here sorry for the dead spot here you have the orc shields and you can take any of these faces and glue them onto each of the different types of shields for different shield divisions and whatnot which are always nice then we start to get into the boar chariot and there's a platform for it as well as the wheels the icon on the chariot and one of the guys with the prods to poke at the boars to pull the chariot and then there's the second part of the the chariot sprue the sides of the chariots you get two different options uh, this is a harness for your boars and of course the other bits and pieces and then you get this shield here which has a like a bone motif on it and then here's your boars that pull the chariot oops they're kind of cute these are old school boars these are going back to like fifth edition but they just go together simply like that you got a jaw there too you get two of them and so now i can kind of go back into the box bottom so there you have your this is for the boar chariot the bases they give you six of these ovals and a round one for your leader on foot they give you six five for the boar boys and one for the general on the boar and then we get these wonderful wonderful instruction sheets that's for your uh, orc war bosses tells you all how to build them then it gives you a war scroll on the back for when you're playing Age of Sigmar. Okay, let's put that to the side for a minute. And then we have the instructions for the boar boys, the boar chariot, and the orcs. And again, they should... Okay, so they show you all the things and they give you the war scroll in there too. So the idea with this is that you can actually do a game called path to glory right out of these start collecting boxes so right away you can get a start collecting box and a path to glory book and be ready for battle so there's the board chariot and the war scroll it's really cool stuff now this little piece that i put to the side till the very end of the video is called the next steps and these are some models you can add into your uh Orcs, so that you can, you know, build a bigger army. And then here they have an actual battle battalion, a battalion war scroll. And this is for the war stompers. So the organization is one of the war stompers, consists of the following units. Okay, so one orc war boss on war boar, one orc war boss with the great wa banner. One unit of orc boar boys, one unit of orc boys, and one unit of orc boar chariots. And that is essentially what is on the box right there. That is your battalion. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of What's in the Box. And if you would like to see our website, please visit us at www.monster-hobbies.com. And we would ask if you would follow us on Facebook 
at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Now, if you would like to see another unboxing video, please click up here. If you'd like to see us build the Mage Wrath Throne, please click down here. If you'd like to see how I set up for a Warhammer Age of Sigmar tournament, click up here. And please subscribe to our official YouTube channel right down here. And thank you very much for watching your video, my video, your video. And we'll see you next time on What's in the Box.